Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my video. So in this video, I thought I would just make a list, a top 10 list of top programming languages I think everyone should learn in 2018 or at least consider learning in 2018. So this is the top 10 list of programming languages and I've compiled it in a quite, um, like, like, like it's more of a, of, a, of a personal opinion and also slightly based on, on, trends, on trends and the jobs market. Okay, so on number 10 I have Delphi, just simply because Delphi is very easy to learn, um, but the reason why it's not any, any higher is because there is basically almost no jobs in Delphi, and because it, it is very expensive to program in Delphi, because the IDE itself is very expensive, but besides that, I think Delphi is very easy to learn, and you can make cross-platform um, apps and games f with Delphi. Then on number 9, I would say Rust, just simply because Rust is currently climbing very fast and a lot, a lot of the developers are now currently using Del or using Rust and considering Rust more. The same goes for um, the same goes for number eight. No, on, number, on number eight we have Go. So the Go program program languages is made by Google and also currently growing quite a lot right now. And Google is quite pushing the language as well. It's mostly for systems, but it's now kind of moving away and moving into web. So then on number seven we have C just simply because a lot of games are written, are written in C++ and C++ are very powerful language to know. It's very difficult to learn. So I would not recommend C++ as a beginner language, but it is very powerful and it is worth learning if you want to go into games development. Then number six is Python, just simply because Python is taught um, in, in a lot of universities and schools and Python is very powerful as well on its own to know. Then number five is Swift. So if you want to be uh, an Apple developer or program for Apple devices, then Swift is the way to go. Do not do not even consider Objective C. Simply just go the Swift route. So Swift is definitely the, the language to go for Apple. Then number four is Java. So Java Java is definitely a very popular language. It's open source and free, and resources online is 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 just a lot of resources online. You will always find something online about Java. So Java is the way to go if you want to be a, if you, if you want to be a Java developer. Okay. And Android is still very popular with Java, although Kotlin, Kotlin of, or Kotlin is quite growing as well now with Google trying to push it. But Java is still the main language for Android development. Then at number three we have uh, PHP. <clears throat> so PHP is kind of like a like a very very like PHP is difficult actually in a sense of there's a lot of crap in it and then a lot of good stuff in it. So basically PHP is very powerful and it's still very popular um, in, in, in website and with development in general but it, but it has plenty of shit but it's still worth learning and learning and there's plenty of jobs for PHP developers right now. The number two I would say C Sharp just, just, just simply because Microsoft is really pushing is really pushing C, C Sharp right now and with their buying Xamarin a few years ago I think C Sharp has a chance of becoming very popular if Microsoft keeps pushing it and keeps improving it and marketing it very well. Um, I, feel, I, think, I, think I actually see a big future for C Sharp um, if it continues the way it's, it's currently doing. Then number one, I have JavaScript because JavaScript is basically the main language for, for the web and the web will stay here for a lot more years, okay? So JavaScript is definitely a language you need to know. You can also look into, into libraries such as TypeScript, TypeScript actually. TypeScript are, is actually kind, kind of growing right now, but it's, it's not in this list. So I would just recommend JavaScript as number one because JavaScript is everywhere and it's a very important language to know right now, I think, if you want to go to web development. So yes, guys, that's basically my list of top 10 languages I think you should learn. So to go through it again, at number 10, we have Delphi. Number 9, we have Rust. Number 8, we have Go. Number 7, we have C++. Number 6, we have Python. Number 5, we have Swift. Number 4, we have Java. Number 3, we have PHP, number two, we have, number two we have C Sharp, and number one we have JavaScript. So that's basically languages I think everyone should learn or consider learning in 2018 or for 2018 and as we, as we move beyond 2018. So once again, that's basically it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. See you.